Isaiah 49 says this most extraordinary phrase, and I'm reading it in the message. Can a mother forget the infant at her breast and walk away from the baby she bore? Even if mothers forget, I will never forget you. Never. Look, I've written your names on the back of my hands. I'm a terror for writing on the back of my hand because it's immediate, it's there. Everything you do, you see what's on the back of your hand. Let me tell you, Scripture says that when God writes, he does not have an eraser. He never rubs it out. When he says that as a Christian, your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, he will not rub it out. It cannot be washed off his hands. Once it's written, that's it. The word of God is yea and amen. As I finish this morning, whether you're a mum or not, male or female, young or old, that's how God sees you. You see the kitten, God sees the lion. Stop faffing around wondering how good you are. If you failed 14 times before breakfast, it doesn't matter. Are you prepared to see yourself as God sees you? Are you prepared to be the kind of person who will be there? Not just for your family, not just for our congregation. Many of you have been there this week. I've seen it, I've spoken to you, it's fantastic. But there is a bigger community out there some of whom know Jesus, some of whom don't. Can you be there in the way that God wants you to be? Can you love unconditionally as Jesus loved? Because, you know, as far as you are concerned, it is impossible for God to forget you. As far as your sin is concerned, it is impossible for him to remember So choose to start loving the way he loves you. It's impossible to forget you. There will be people that God wants to put into your spirit who will bug you and you think, why am I still thinking about them? It's because God has unfinished business for you to do. So get out there and love as he loved. And can you champion someone else's cause? Lovely Buzz phrase, a mentor. Yeah, what's a mentor? A mentor is simply someone who is one step further on the road than you are. That's it in a nutshell. They can be an expert and be about four or five steps, but quite frankly, I would rather identify with someone who's nearer to where I am. One at the most two steps ahead of me, because that way, this is what happens, you see. I learn something. I turn to someone God is mentoring and has put me alongside, and I show them Teach them what I've learned. Failures, successes, let's pass them on. That person learns. They turn to the person they're mentoring, pass it on. But that presupposes that me still here is now learning a new thing. Yes? So you're constantly learning, passing it on, passing it on, passing it on, back to the beginning. And it'll keep going. Young people, look for someone two years younger than yourself. Deliberately say, Lord, would you want me to mentor them? Pray with them, share with them, be real with them. Bring up a champion. Older people, you have so much experience. Don't just sit on it. Say to God, who do you want me with? You may find the most extraordinary pairings up. And God will say, I've taught you, you teach them. It's called discipling. Gosh. It's a new thing. Of course it's not. It's as old as the hills. But we need individually to realize that wherever God has placed us, we can be there. We can love. And we can champion. Let's pray. Father God, I thank you for your word this morning. I pray that it will bring life. I pray for those who struggle today and those who are absolutely loving it. We come from such a range. 
But all of God loves all of us individually as well as corporately, and that is just so awesome. Father, I pray today that you will give us the strength and the courage to keep on being there, whatever the cost. To love as Jesus loved. Glib phrase, Lord, help us understand a little bit more today what it might mean today to keep doing that. And Lord, to raise champions. Our country, our world needs champions for God who are fearless, who don't worry about failing or not. They are just so strong in you that we'll just go for it and let you sort out the details. Let us be a people who never quit, who will keep on holding on to your word and reaching out. In Jesus' name. Amen.